Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're building something sleek, useful, and beautifully mobile friendly. A Telegram mini app using Next.js and Tailwind CSS. Think of it as a web app that launches inside Telegram. Like a custom app you can trigger from your bot with real-time interaction and seamless Telegram theming. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process from setting up the app to designing a modern interface that feels right at home on any smartphone. A Telegram mini app is a compact web experience launched inside Telegram. It feels like a native app, but it's just a fast, responsive website that interacts with Telegram's JavaScript API. You can trigger these apps from your bot, access user info, apply Telegram themes automatically, and even process payments or collect feedback. And the best part? All this without users ever leaving Telegram. Let's start with the basic setup. We'll use Next.js for the front-end framework, perfect for building fast, modern web apps. And we'll bring in Tailwind CSS to design a clean, flexible, and mobile-first UI. The key goal here is simplicity and speed. Everything we build will be responsive, intuitive, and visually clean. Think minimal buttons, readable fonts, soft shadows, and spacing that feels just right on small screens. Once our environment is ready, we'll build out the UI structure, a header, a main content area, and some interactive components. Now here's where it gets exciting, the design. We're going for a Telegram native look. That means clean typography, rounded buttons, subtle gradients, and high contrast for readability. Our layout will be vertically stacked, optimized for thumb interaction. Picture a neat title bar at the top, user-friendly action cards in the middle, and large call-to-action buttons at the bottom. And yes, we'll support light and dark themes right out of the box, so the app adjusts depending on your Telegram settings. We're following a few golden rules for mobile UI. 1. Keep actions large and centered. 2. Avoid clutter. White space is your friend. 3. Use consistent padding and smooth transitions. Let's bring in Telegram's magic. Telegram gives us access to some awesome features directly through the web app API. As soon as the app launches inside Telegram, it can automatically pull in user data, like usernames, profile photos, and even preferred color themes. With that, we personalize the experience. Imagine greeting the user by name, adjusting styles based on their theme, or showing a Telegram native back button. We also get control over how the app displays. For example, we can make it expand to full screen or stay compact inside the chat interface. And we can even send the user's interactions back to your bot, making this the perfect interface for bots that collect data, display dashboards, or offer tools. Once our app is styled and functional, it's time to put it online. We deploy it using a fast hosting service like Versal. This gives us a secure public URL, essential for Telegram to load your app. Next, we go to Botfather inside Telegram where we configure our bot and link it to the mini app by specifying our URL. From here, users can open your mini app just by typing a command or clicking a button in your bot. Let's add a bit of sparkle. Telegram supports theme detection, so our app can automatically adjust for dark or light mode, ensuring a native look. We also add smooth animations, buttons that respond to clicks, cards that slide in, and feedback elements like loading spinners or check marks when actions are completed. Every detail matters. Even the transition between views or the way you align content can impact how natural the app feels inside Telegram. And that's it. We've just built a Telegram mini app with Next.js and Tailwind CSS, focused on design, simplicity, and performance. This framework can be reused for anything, whether you're building a fitness tracker, a shopping list, an AI chatbot interface, or even a crypto portfolio viewer. If you want the Figma file for this layout or a starter project, check the link below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, subscribe for more Design Plus dev content, and drop a comment if you're building your own Telegram mini app. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.